All right, Demonocalypse here, and my Tiger P on Melavanka, Melanovka, Kempinovka, whatever you want to call it. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to be an intelligent um, commentator. However, I keep on going silly. There just aren't enough serious commentators on YouTube. Like, the first few people I, um, like, subscribed to were rather silly, yeah. Then I tried to get into the more intelligent ones uh, that weren't, like, um, intelligent gameplay-wise rather than, like, just throwing about, out a bunch of facts that you don't give a shit about. <sighs> But whatever. I think I just have the turret left to upgrade on this before I can decide to unlock. I think it was the Tiger 2, but. Oh, balls. Okay, I'm going to try to get up here and provide for spot fire support for these guys. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to make it in time. It's kind of sad that something, well, the ISU-152 only has 90 millimeters of armor, so I'd say it's completely underwhelming for this tier. That's my opinion of it so far, but whatever. It's kind of ridiculous also that you have to unlock everything that's almost exactly the same so many times. I mean, the 90mm M3, the only... you have to re-unlock it for, um, the... What was it? Uh... Oh my neck. Um... Anti-tank for, um... Oh, come on, I don't have a clear shot! Oh, I must have hit him like in a turret or something. Okay, we lost three of our guys, they lost three of their guys, and there's a building in my way. Ah, damn it! I love it when I can't see my enemies! Absolutely love it! Type 59 is completely OP with how many angles it has. It's got more armor than its uh, Russian equivalent, which is the exact same freaking tank. They just named it differently because of, um, I don't know. I don't know why they named it differently. They just separated it in this game for, uh, so they could make easy money off of dumb people, but it is a good tank, and I still don't get how people say, um, that premium tanks are worse than normal tanks. In almost every instance I've seen them, they're practically the same, and I've compared stats on them and shit. They're nearly exactly the same. It doesn't matter. I'm 
going to end up dead here fairly soon, so. Should end up dead here fairly soon, anyways. It's like, even if we win, I'm going to get shit for experience on this. So. Did you guys get him? I don't think so. After playing, um, tribes, this seems really freaking slow. see me or I will see them, but someone will see someone. Maybe. Damn it! Invisible tanks that for some reason can see me straight through a freaking tree when I can't see them. trouble. I should have done that and fired. I should have backed up done and fired. Two kills. I gotta count that as luck that he's not aiming at me, but I'm not sure. Low is down. Really, I just want to see where the hell the enemy is. Okay, if I make it down there, I think I'll survive. Okay, I should be able to survive going down there. The other T29s crossing over there, and the KV5s over there. Jake Panzer isn't as much of a threat as you'd think. The M41 is would be a larger threat.
critical hit bullshit. Giant invisible fucking tanks. It's a 29 versus 229 over here, and I guess a KV-5 over here. Ugh. Oh, come on! That's hardly fair. Children, if you can't aim for the ammo, aim for the engine compartment. Get some good experience for that. The T29 lost against the T29. Some minor inception shit going on there. Ugh. 12 minute match. This is going to be by itself. I know it is. Oh, man. If I don't get like 5,000 or more experience on this, I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> 7,500 experience! Aw oh, man, why didn't I get Sniper? Well, I guess, yeah, I get it. Oh man. All right. <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. This has been Demonocalypse. Thanks for watching.